Hey, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and in this video, I'm proud to show you the new features in Oxygen at 2.2. So we've added a ton of great stuff, including scroll animations, user interface improvements, new design sets, CSS settings for blend modes, Z-index, transforms. We've enhanced the visual editor load time. We've enhanced front-end performance. We've added smooth scrolling in for one-page websites uh, and more. So let's get started. I'm going to show you the main new features in 2.2. So first up, we have scroll animations. Scroll animations are those animations where when you scroll down the page, elements animate into view. So to create a scroll animation, you just choose any element in Oxygen. You go to Advanced, Effects, Animate on Scroll and you check the enable animation box right here and then you can choose an animation type. And when you choose an animation type, it will preview that animation for you in the builder right there. And then you have settings like animation duration uh, and various other animation settings. We're using the animate on scroll library for our animations. And if you want to globally control some animation settings, for example, you probably want to use a similar animation duration for every element on your page, you go to manage, settings, global styles, animate on scroll, and then you have your global animation settings which are going to apply to all elements with animation enabled. Next up we've added search to the add section. So you click add and then you just start typing to add an element. So you want a heading, just type H, press enter, and there you go. So rather than combing through this list, hunting around, you just type in what you want and there it is. So that's a nice improvement. We've also added three new design sets. This is the first design set. Very beautiful, great imagery, a lot of good sub pages. So you can really create pretty much anything with this. We used an example as building a website for a flight school. Uh, next up, we added a design set for sort of a marketing agency, digital, web design, you know, whatever. Got some fancy effects like this, sticky header, lots of gradients, so that's very nice. Then we added a design set for a conference website. So you got your speakers, your schedule, your tickets, your photos, uh, that kind of thing. So three new design sets, you'll find those in the design library at add library. Uh, we also added in a revision system. So when you're editing a page now, you go to revisions, and then you can see past revisions of the page. And you just click preview to preview the revision. And if you want to restore that revision, click restore. Now, don't worry, this only affects the page that you're working with. It won't affect your global styles, your styles sheets, your classes. So let's say you change your global colors, but then you realize you want to you know, go back to a previous revision of an old page, restore it. Don't worry, your global colors are fine. They stay the way they were, but the page content goes back to the way it was before. Next up, we significantly enhance the visual editor load time. So I'm going to click Edit with Oxygen, and here we go. No cuts, no video editing, no speed up. This is now how long it takes to load the editor. There we go, fully loaded. You can use it. Time to party. Okay, next up, we also enhanced front end performance. So here I've got a GT Metrics report uh, from an Oxygen built website here. Fully loaded time, 255 milliseconds. And if you take a look at the waterfall chart, what we changed is that we no longer use those X-Link URLs to load CSS. All CSS is now cached. So if you look through these URLs, you'll find no X-Link, just pure yoursite.com slash whatever slash some file dot CSS. These are real CSS files. They're generated by Oxygen. They're cached on your server. So those are gonna load super fast, even uh, on content delivery networks or uh, mediocre web hosts that couldn't handle caching the X-Link URL. We also added in a bloat eliminator tab. So go to oxygen, settings, bloat eliminator. And from here you can disable some typical WordPress bloat. These are things WordPress loads by default like jQuery migrate, emojis, and embeds which probably are not necessary on your website. So check these boxes and disable them. We also have an option to disable Google Fonts entirely uh, or disable webfont.js and use CSS to load the Google Fonts, which will save one request, but won't actually speed up your site. Um, next up, 
we added in a Google font weight chooser. So to further enhance performance, you can go to manage settings, global styles, fonts. And now under your font choice, if you're using a Google font, you click weights. And now you can choose the specific weights you want to load from Google. So if you want to load italic weights instead of using browser simulated, just check the italic weights. For example, here we go. Now we're using real italics instead of browser simulated. Or if you uncheck these boxes, these fonts will never be loaded, even if you use that weight on your site. So if you were sloppy, you used a bunch of different weights, but when you publish your site, you say, look, I only want to use 300, 400, and 700. Just check these boxes. And even if you choose 600 in the drop down, it'll go to 700. Your browser will handle that automatically. So that can save you some kilobytes loading font files that you don't need. We also added in the option to use the media library generated thumbnails or uh, smaller size images for images. So if you had an image now, instead of just being able to specify the URL to the image, you can go media library, choose the image from your media library. And when you do it this way, you'll have a size drop down. So you can load the thumbnail, the medium, the full size, or any other registered image sizes on your site. And if you do it this way, the HTML output will also contain source set for mobile responsive images. It'll load a smaller image on a smaller screen. It won't need to download the full size image. We also added in support for CSS blend mode. So that's for creating effects like color overlay or image overlay on text, text overlaid on an image uh, with like transparency, blending effects, uh, stuff like this. So let's go ahead and set up a blend mode effect in Oxygen. So to do that, you're going to choose the element you want to apply the blend mode to. Go Advanced, Effects, Opacity, and under Mix Blend Mode, you're going to choose a blend mode. I'm going to use Color Dodge here. And there we go. There is the blend mode effect. One thing to note about blend modes, this is still sort of a new experimental CSS feature. It's not yet supported in all browsers, but we put it in Oxygen so you can create cool stuff with it now, and eventually it is going to be widely supported. Now for background blend mode, just go to advanced, background, and then scroll down to background blend mode. You can choose the blend modes for your background as well, and this is gonna blend your background image with, maybe if you set up a background gradient or background overlay color. It's for blending your background layers together. Next thing we added in is smooth scrolling for one page sites built into Oxygen. So you don't need to paste in the JavaScript now. You can do it just with a checkbox. So here is an example one page site and you click these links in the header and it just scrolls the page down as you can see to the various sections. But that doesn't look that good. So you can go now, manage settings, global styles, scripts, choose smooth scroll to hash links and specify a scroll time. Let's go ahead and save that and refresh this page. And here we go. Now you click and it scrolls smoothly. Now I'm recording this with screen recording software. It's going on YouTube. So I'm not sure if this is going to look smooth in the video, but this is a smooth effect, just like if you scrolled the mouse smoothly. Next up, we added a visual control for the Z index property. So if you ever created an overlapping layout, you probably encountered the issue where one of the elements covered up the other element. Now, before you had to go in custom CSS, specify your Z index to make it come back to the top. Now you can just go to layout, scroll down to Z index and specify the value. No need to write code. We also added in visual controls for CSS transforms. So that's for creating effects like these angles, angled text, rotations, uh, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and create a transform now. I have this page with this image gallery here, and I want to add a cool transform effect to it. So actually, this is a link that's going to open up uh, something. I don't know what yet. So let's go to the link and let's apply a transform. So we'll go to Advanced, Effects, Transform, and let's add a rotation transform. So choose Transform Type, Rotate, give it a 10-degree rotation. So as you can see, it rotates. So there's our rotation transform. And the cool thing about this is these work with states. So let's say we want to, you know, apply a different effect on hover. Let's go to hover and then add a 20 degree rotation transform. 
and add a scale transform where we're going to make it, let's say, 1.2 times bigger everywhere. And now let's take a look at what happens when we hover over. It rotates and scales up. So that is super cool. Uh, very powerful CSS effects there. Okay, those are the new features in 2.2. Again, we've got scroll animations. We've got new design sets, user interface enhancements, a revision system, improved editor load time, improved front end performance, a bloat eliminator tab, a Google font weight chooser, image source set, CSS blend modes, smooth scroll to hash links, Z index, CSS transforms. Uh, for a complete change log, of course, check our blog because we also fix various bugs, polish various things. Now, I want to thank all of our testers that helped us test the alpha and the beta versions of 2.2. Thank you very much. We couldn't have got it this day without you, so uh, everyone on the Oxygen team truly appreciates that. Now, right now, uh, you buy Oxygen, you get lifetime updates, lifetime support, 60-day money-back guarantee, and this is an unlimited site developer license. Uh, you can use it on websites you build for clients. It is $99 for a limited time. Now, we are going to be testing different prices. We recently did a pricing above $99. $99 is the lowest price it's going to be, and it's not going to be $99 forever. We recently did a pricing test a few months ago, a couple months ago, and based on the results of that test, we think we'd make the most money selling it for $149. So last time we did the test, uh, we came back to $99. Everyone who bought for more than 99, we gave them a partial refund. So the total they paid was 99. And there were a lot of people who didn't know we were going to raise the price. And they said, oh, we want to buy it for 99. It's not fair. You raised the price, which is one of the reasons we put it back to 99, even though we said limited time offer. Nobody ever believes the limited time offers. Well, anyway, this is the last warning. It is a limited time offer. If we raise the price to 149 and we make more money selling it at 149, that's it. It's 149. It's not 99 anymore. So if you want it for 99, uh, buy it now. Uh, okay, again, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and thank you very much for watching.